Ryan says he will be attending the Oceania Swimming Championships in Fiji later this month as a lead-up tournament to the Olympics. Um, it's, it's very tough, um, but yeah, I feel positive. We've got Oceania Championships in uh, a little over two weeks over in Fiji, so that'll be a good indication for where things are at. And then um, after that, it's uh, yeah, game time for Rio. He says preparations are on par even though it has been difficult over the past few months. The Olympic Games, um, the, you know, things are coming along really well. Um, the, the, the level of competition is, um, is, is extremely tough. So um, you know, I'll be going there and just and giving it all, all my best in that, uh, in that uh, heat swim that I get. Uh, if I can make the semi-final, that would be pretty fantastic. And, and I, I, you know, I feel positive that I can get there. Uh, it's just going to determine uh, how things go on the days. So. He says after the Pacific Games, many people have shown interest in the code. After the Olympics, Pini plans to come back to train and develop young swimmers. The, uh, the privilege uh, this morning talking to some of the new swimmers, um, they wanted to know how they could improve their strokes. So um, I took a bit of time out and uh, just gave them a few pointers. So, and, that's, and that's so helpful for me that I can, you know, I can give back. So you know, once, once I'm um, done competing at, at Olympics, then I'll be back home and uh, be able to give a lot more back into the sport and hopefully you know, bring up the, the next generation of swimmers. This will be his fourth Olympic appearance and will compete in the 100 meter backstroke, butterfly and freestyle. The Olympics is set to kick off on the 5th of August and ends on the 12th. Catching up and on, no! Penny started to kick again and you'll get it! Penny's got it, that's a record! Elijah Lavette, National MTV Sports.